everyone, welcome to CNA Champion Dance Sport and our coverage of the 2008 USA Dance National Dance Sport Championships right here at Baltimore's beautiful Inner Harbor. Alongside Ashley Costa and Dan Calloway, I'm CNA's Philip Burton. Thanks for joining us. These are the best couples in the country competing for the national title in amateur dance sport. And make no mistake about it, folks, this is a sport requiring the highest level of training and physical endurance, Dan. Yes, this is an Olympic recognized sport all around the world. Couples are coming, children are coming into dance studios and practicing right from the beginning to make it to the Olympics representing their country. It's not in the Olympics yet, it's in the, it's just recognized and soon will be in the program. And it takes a lot of endurance as you well know, Ashley. Oh, it definitely takes endurance, it definitely takes dedication and you have to love to dance. Oh. Led to the standard portion of the Youth 10 Dance Finals. Now let's take a look at the Latin competition. All six of these couples come from either the New York or New Jersey areas. Dan, why do we see such a strong concentration of top couples on the East Coast? Well, the Northeast of the United States has always been a strong mag magnet for immigration as well as it has a rich culture. It's very supportive. If you want to find it, it's in the New York area. And here these couples, these junior couples or youth couples are dancing an amazing cha-cha, nice and clean, precise, lots of fun interaction between the couples and you can tell each costume is slightly different and it kind of goes towards that personality of each person. Sometimes with youth like this, it tends to be a physical experience more than an emotional one. And eventually they grow into the emotions of the dance. Here they're interacting very well with each other and showing extreme emotional development. flicks and kicks. This is where the man gets to show a little bit more of his virtuosity. Our next couple is 219 presenting the tango. Please, and I say Anne, Metroslav Pavlok and Margaret Maduro. hand for Metroslav and Margaret and Tango. Say intimidated, but we pulled through. Right, and we were actually surprised at our result because we didn't expect to place as high as we did. We made it through a few rounds and it was very good. Probably in our younger years we're going to be more set on competing and later on teaching, maybe opening a studio of our own. So, yeah, right? Right, well... <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> do shows. There will be judging involved later on, hopefully. And uh, so I think that's pretty much it. It shows, judging, competing, and, well, teaching, of course. Cheer them on. And music, please. Here we have the quick step and couple number 219. And here they go, they're starting off great pivots into some nice chasses, into some running locks. And it can be a little bit dangerous. The girl has to run backwards in heels. Oh, that's tough. That oh, seems very yeah. difficult. So she has to depend on the guy to know exactly. He has to maneuver her through different couples, and that's why being connected is so important. And this couple, she tends to actually start drifting off more to his right side, which you don't want as much. put their own personality like that. That is so much fun to watch.
A big round of applause for your dancers. In the Let's take a look at the score, see how they fared. See, 132 still up there. Yes. 